Let's talk about passive pushers and the X settings. This is a composite Duo 80. It's a pinky, or was originally, but it has green locks. Also notice it does say Duomatic. Some of them say something else, but this pinky said Duomatic. Now here's what can happen. These pushers move properly. These pushers have gotten frozen in position. When the lock is set on N, it won't make any difference, except that these should be in the rail when the lock is set on N, and we need to get them down there. But when you set on some of the X settings, it will make a great difference. Not on CX, because that just causes stockinette to knit going one direction and then the other. Let's take a good look at how these settings are achieved. When the N versus X lever is on N, all the needles that are placed in work knit. This could be stockinette, it could be ribbing. The dial must be set on N in order to rotate the letter dial to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or A. Only then should the NX lever be moved to X. EX is Fisherman's Rib setting. That just causes stockinette to happen one row and tucking the next. So the failure of the pushers to move freely as these do won't be an issue. However, BX and AX will be issues. BX is the setting that we use for short rowing. It's also used for fair isle. You always have to go back to N to rotate the letter dial. FX uses pushers. And usually AX uses pushers. Let's pretend knit a few rows in N. And even though these pushers really should be in the rail, so should these, it's not a big deal because on end, the lock just ignores the pushers. Now I'm all the way at the right side of the bed because I do not want to move the locks past those stiff pushers. I've put some lubricant on them to try to loosen them so that I can remove them and clean underneath them. Most likely that's the problem. But in the meantime, I don't want to jam the carriage because when we get into an X setting and I have one arrow key here so that these pushers should change direction or change position every other row. The lock will put down a little scoop that we can't see from here, but it'll move them alternately up and down. And that's how it makes short rows by when they're down, those needles are in hold. When they're up, those needles are in work. Or when they're down, they don't knit the color that is being knitted for Fair Isle, and when they're up, they do. Oops, that would have been a patterning error. So watch what's supposed to happen. See, they went down. That's because the arrow key told them to. The left arrow key said change going left. They should stay down because their right arrow key was not engaged and they changed position because the left arrow key is the same different the same different if i engage the second arrow key they should now change direction every row down up down, up. So if you get a patterning error of some kind, this is one way to tell whether the problem is the locks not responding. They don't have to put down those little scoops that I mentioned. The scoops can be stuck. There can even be something broken, but stuck is much more common. Or they may put the scoops down and try to scoop up the pushers, 
But honestly, do you think that if I'm struggling to move them, now they're starting to loosen up, but they're still very stiff. If it's that hard for me, do you think that little piece of metal is going to do it effectively? It won't. And it will make for patterning errors and sometimes worse, jams, other things.